this year we decided to do something uh, a bit different um, and we came up with the idea of using a strong female character to um, illustrate the, the role of women that women just didn't all sit at home during the medieval period and do nothing while the men went off. The women were involved with running castles even when it came to one of the queens running the army. Um, so the, uh, it's all tied in with uh, the builder of the castle, was a man called Sir Richard Fines and he was uh, an ardent Yorkist supporter. He supported the new king, as it were, um, Edward IV. And he had married a woman called Joan, Lady Joan, and uh, through her family she was the Baroness Dacre. And the title was awarded because he married her. He became Lord Dacre. The trouble was that Lady Joan's family were about as staunch Lancastrian supporters, the opposing side, as you could possibly get. Uh, both men had fought with their respective kings, uh, Richard with Edward and Humphrey Dacre with uh, Henry. Henry um, was the, the Lancastrian king. And uh, the family weren't particularly happy with this, uh, especially the uh, brother, Humphrey Dacre, who felt that he should have originally, when their father died, got the title. Uh, so he didn't become Lord Dacre. She took the title and became Baroness Dacre and gave it to her husband, Richard. And of course, Richard was Yorkist, so her family didn't like that even more. So there was an actual real argument over who had the title of Lord Dacre. And that is, that, 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 that is, that is history. And so I expanded that a bit more, um, found that both men actually took part in a battle in 1471, just north of London, uh, both Humphrey uh, and Richard. So I just surmised that this would be the closest that Humphrey had ever got to this wonderful castle and to his sister, and um, would decide to come round and see if he could persuade her by whatever means to um, give up the title so he could become Lord Dacre.